my advice to someone who's dying and would like to decide and document their, their funeral wishes is start a little bit earlier than later. Sometimes these things take quite a bit of thinking about. And if you leave it until very near your end of life, often people just don't feel well enough to, to really think through what would be appropriate to represent their life and what would be their final goodbye wishes to their loved ones who attend the funeral. So start early. Um, also, I'd recommend that you really include your next of kin family, loved ones, in the decisions that you've made. Because sometimes you might decide something that's not entirely normal. And if people only find out about it once you've gone, they might find it a bit perplexing. So involve your family, let people know what you want, what's important to you, why is it important to you. And I think that really empowers your next of kin and loved ones to feel they know what they're creating on your behalf. The best bit of advice I can give to somebody who wants to start planning their funeral or even their dying journey would be to look at your choices and to actually know that you have choices. We all have so many more options than we realise. There are so many more resources available to us than we even know. And when we start to explore that, we realise that we do get options, choices and autonomy when it comes to our death and our funeral. So the best bit of advice I can give is to, as much as you might not want to, do the research, talk to people, find out what's around. When you're looking at planning your funeral and your wishes, uh, I think there's no time better than now to start, really. Um, I think it's making sure that you're talking openly with your friends, your loved ones and your family, because I think unless your wishes are written down and, and even discussed openly, how do you make sure that that, that happens when you're, when you're dying or maybe when you, you don't have the capacity or the, um, the cognition to, to put your plans and your wishes in place? So I think even starting at the dinner table with your family about what matters most to you can be really, really supportive. But equally, when you know that time might be more precious and when you have a life-limiting illness and you might be diagnosed and, and your prognosis could be really, really short, I think I would encourage people to plan, maybe contact a funeral director, start early, and then you've ticked that box, you can put it to one side and I, I work with people and say, you've got to carry on with the quality of life and living. <laughs>